our guest, Whitney Webb. Hello there, Whitney. I've been watching your content. You always seem to be in the... What is that environment you're in? Where are you? Are you in a grandma's handbag? It's a perfect environment. What is the nature of the connection with Bill Gates? So now, if you believe mainstream media, Bill Gates and Jeffrey Epstein didn't meet until 2011, but that is unfortunately for Bill Gates contradicted by evidence that's actually in mainstream media. So for example, the Evening Standard, a pretty mainstream uh, outlet in the United Kingdom, uh, has an article from, I believe, January 2000. Uh, where it's talking about Ghislaine Maxwell and her relationship with Prince Andrew and discusses Jeffrey Epstein introducing him to a UK audience. There it introduces him as a, a, a property developer and says that he made most of his uh, millions through his business links to three individuals, Leslie Wexner, Donald Trump, and the third one is Bill Gates. So why would the Evening Standard name Bill Gates as one of the main business partners of Jeffrey Epstein during the 1990s if they didn't meet until roughly a decade later? Uh, and even beyond that, if you're looking at uh, some other aspects of the Epstein-Gates relationship, you have a woman named Melanie Walker come along, who was allegedly recruited by Jeffrey Epstein to be a Victoria's Secret model in 1992. There's no evidence she ever modeled, but she became Epstein's science advisor in the late 90s and shortly thereafter became science advisor to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, if you're Bill Gates and you're hiring a science advisor for your relatively new foundation and you're looking at a, uh, you know, her um, her CV and all it really has is uh, a science advisor to Jeffrey Epstein, you would have to know who Jeffrey Epstein is and what kind of science he was into. And this, again, is well before uh, the 2011 date were alleged to um you know, believe is when they first met. And, and I would argue that this isn't so much to protect Bill Gates. It's about protecting Microsoft because I've seen in the 1990s, as well as the Maxwell family, extensively involved in the activities of Microsoft to a very significant, it's just very extreme. And Ghislaine Maxwell herself was involved in some of those business connections uh, as well at a time when she was involved with Epstein. Epstein was also involved in a very suspicious trip, uh, a, a really a co um a delegation Microsoft sent to Russia in 1998, where he's touring uh, high, local high schools uh, in Russia with Microsoft executives. Some of those executives, like Nathan Mervold, later are, are allegedly tied to his sex trafficking operations and named by prominent Epstein victims as uh, their abusers. Essentially, what I found is that history is littered with figures just like Jeffrey Epstein. He was not an anomaly at all, like we've been told by mainstream media. And thus, it's probably uh, likely that people swimming in these elite circles for several decades, you know, found this type of activity in which Epstein and, and Ghislaine Maxwell were engaged to be perfectly normal. And actually, there's reports in 2003, and I think the Evening Standard and other UK outlets that openly talk about Ghislaine Maxwell training uh, young blonde girls in sex techniques and brandishing whips at parties. People knew about this well before Epstein was arrested. 